there guys Michaela here welcome back to my channel welcome back to another speed build today I am building a big family home in the world of San Sequoia it's been a while since I've built here and this is another one of my commissions that I did um recently I think yeah the last two last three actually with this one builds were commissions I've been sort of running behind on them a little bit I've had quite a few of them as well so um but this is the last one I don't have any more ready now uh, but I do have a couple that I should work on um so for those who requested those requests commissions whatever you want to call them uh, I'm sorry it's taken me so long but I've been a bit overwhelmed with with everything at the moment with sims with school with everything else at the moment my bag's been flaring up hurting a little bit these past couple of days so I'm sorry it it's taken me so long but I promise I'll get you your build uh, and I'm so thankful that you're patient that nobody's really uh, bombing me with hey where is my build so yeah uh, I'm sorry but I promise I will uh, work on them as soon as possible uh, once as soon as I have the time uh, for it uh, because I have like four um, kind of commissions requests built at the moment so um, I promise I'll get to them anyway let's go back to this build so it's a six bedroom four bathroom house uh, there is space for more than eight sims actually there is a master bedroom downstairs a guest bedroom downstairs with a big double bed and then upstairs we have a room for a teenager room for a baby and an infant oh, no sorry an infant and a toddler and then two kids rooms with two beds so you have space for nine people nine sims no, sorry 11 sims actually but the person who requested this commission they wanted the teenage room or like a young adult uh child room for their daughter who's coming back from university for visits and obviously i imagined i imagine the guest room is for uh when grandparents come over because i think that's a thing now with growing together your kind of grandparents or any other like family can come visit and stay over but i have no idea i haven't done any gameplay with the pack so i might be completely wrong um so it's built on a 50 by 40 in san sequoia it's the seven eucalyptus lane lot um i was a bit scared at first by the sheer size of this uh, so when the person who requested this was like, you know what, I want a huge house with this many bedrooms and this many bathrooms and I want it on this big lot in San I was like, oh my god, it's gonna be too much. But it ended up being quite fun, um, even though I had a bit of a struggle with the colour scheme. So you can see now when I, that I started with darker palettes, because I've been kind of into darker lately again. <laughs> it's like shifting here and there, like I have a month where I'm into like lighter wood tones and then I have a month where I'm into darker wood tones so I was into darker wood tones but when I started working on the interior uh, because they wanted a uh, pink and a uh, blue kind of accents uh, into the interior I realized that the dark kind of this reddish brownish wood would not work with the kind of happy colorful kind of warm uh, colors of pink and uh, blue so that's when I decided to completely change the color scheme of the exterior as well as the interior so and I ended up uh, using kind of like honey woods and those like light woods and on the exterior I used a wallpaper that came with Eco Lifestyle which is one of my favorites I use it quite often and yeah, so I I went for a different uh, color scheme. What uh, the person who requested is also asked for was a lot of activities. So we have everything you can imagine. There is an outdoor barbecue. There is a uh, a pool. There is the tree that you can build a tree house on. There are plenty of activities for kids, like the monkey bars or a swing or a, a slide. We also have a little um, kind of this fire uh, pit area. We have some gardening. There is a small um greenhouse that's what the word is and so there is a small greenhouse um there is also a small basket basketball court that i ended up having space for because the lot is huge and i did not want to um 
kind of leave anything empty so that's why I decided to go for that there's also a jacuzzi or, or a hot tub uh, there are plenty of toys some uh, also like eco stuff with the solar panels because I feel like it's useful for gameplay um, yeah so there is plenty of do for your sims so if you want to download this you definitely can i did not uh, have any restrictions when it comes to packs from the person who requested this so there is quite a, i used quite a lot of packs building this but i think a lot of packs are only for like decorations so i think you get away with like not having some of the packs but yeah there is still quite a lot that i've uh, used um here because i just wasn't limited with uh, the packs that the person requesting this uh, had. Um, also, I wanted to talk about. So during the week, I asked you guys about what would you, what would you think if I kind of exchanged the voiceovers in my videos for music, and a lot of you thought that it would not be bad. I guess, but um, having more time to think about it, I actually deleted that um, poll on on here on Instagram. Oh, sorry on. YouTube, not Instagram, we are on YouTube. Um, I deleted it because I realized that I would miss it, right? I've been doing voiceovers for, well, almost four years now, which is ridiculous that I've been having, I've had the channel for this long. But yeah, I've been having, I've been doing them for the past four years and it would feel weird not to do them. And also I kind of like the opportunity to talk to you to uh, work on my English pronunciation as well and I don't know I, I feel like whenever I watch videos I love listening to what the creator has to say uh, like how their life is going how what they thought when they were doing the build so yeah so it was it was like a momentarily lapse in judgment I'd say uh, even though I I loved the idea at first I just didn't want to change the concept of my video uh, adding a tour, which I'm, I'm not a big fan of, uh, even when I'm watching speed builds. So yeah, sorry that I kind of asked, but then disregarded your opinion, but I just realized that it would not be, work. it would not work for me personally. Uh, yeah, I, if you know me in personal life, which most of you don't, um, I am a very impulsive person. Sometimes I just make impulsive decisions and then I change my mind like three days after. I don't know if that's like some sort of ADHD thing. Maybe. I, I think I might actually be an ADHD or like might have ADHD. Uh, but I do this very often. Not very. Yes, very often. <laughs> I do this quite often that I set out, set my mind to an idea or like a something, a vision, and then I start working on it. But then I realized, you know what, it's not really a good idea. And I stopped doing it. So yeah, it's, it's, that is one of those things. I have the urge to change things up around my channel. I uh, have the urge to create series. I almost, I was also trying to change my the look of my uh, filter that I use over my footage, uh, what you see right now. So I try to change it during the week. Yeah, I just, I don't know. My brain is a mysterious place sometimes and it's also a scary place to be um, a lot of the times. But hey, I, I've, I feel like I'm not the only one in the community. I feel like a lot of people in the community are neurodivergent. <clears throat> I, I know a couple who are like diagnosed, but I think a lot of people might be undiagnosed like me. So yeah, maybe. We'll see. Um, not sure if I'm gonna pursue any like formal diagnosis, but it's just a thought. Anyway, let's go back to the build. So now we are working on the kitchen. So the person who requested this, they wanted a fake kitchen because the fathers, because I think the family has like two dads, they are really into cooking. Like one of them is really into cooking. So they wanted a lot of appliances. I might have actually um, forgotten about some that they wanted. So I hope they uh, add them into the build themselves when they downloaded it. Because I know that I, that I, I then realized that I forgot about some of the ones that they wanted. But there is uh, the rice cooker or like the slow cooker that came with Forend. We have a lot of the appliances that came with the Home Chef Hustle. So we have the kind of robot mixer thing. I also think I placed the waffle maker, but I could be wrong. I'm not sure. Honestly, this is, it's not that long since I finished this. It was like last weekend, but still I forgot about what I placed. 
uh, in here, which is ridiculous. But I don't know, my memory sometimes like a, a goldfish, right? I, I remember things that I've done like months ago in very like vivid detail, but then I don't remember what happened yesterday. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I don't remember what I placed because I I built one more build in the meantime, which was my shell challenge. Which if you haven't done yet, you still have about ten ish days, not even like eight days, um, to do it. And the prize for that is actually I'm gonna draw um, a winner uh, of uh, either one stuff pack or two kits so yeah if you could try that i'm not choosing like winners uh because i feel like that's very subjective and um unfair because not a lot of not that many people can actually build houses that i would like no offense to anyone i've started that way as well but i feel like choosing a winner would be unfair because as i said not everyone has the skills the time so i feel this is like the only um version that is fair to everyone so i'm not choosing based on the look or based on how what i like but i'm choosing just randomly out of all the uh entries so i as i said I think on the post that I posted on my social media, you have to include your social media handle uh, to the gallery upload because otherwise I won't have any way to contact you. So yeah, just make sure you do that uh, so that, uh, or just shoot me a message. I've had a person who submitted a um, entry send me a message on instagram hey i don't want to add my instagram uh kind of handle to the gallery so i am this and that and i am entering so yeah you can do that too if you don't want to share your social media on uh on the gallery anyway also let's talk about the recent um, base game update that we got which was the vitiligo vitiligo i'm not sure how to pronounce sorry about that but it's the skin details that you know what I'm not gonna try and explain because I have no idea how this kind of disease or skin thing works, but I'm very happy that we're getting more representation uh, in in the game. It's it's always always fun. I know a lot of people have been saying we don't really need this. We have this for from um, CC creators, and while I get that a lot of kind of PC gamers, PC players um, have CC in their game and they're happy with it and it works for them. Um, a lot of people don't use CC because maybe their computer can't handle it or they don't want to use CC like me. I'm not really a big fan of CC. I love CC, don't get me wrong, but I just, I feel like it's overwhelming so I don't use it. But there are also a lot of people like console players who can't use CC, right? So. Let's just be happy that we're getting more representation in the game, in the actual game itself. And for people who don't use CC or can't use CC, they it's a big thing because they can now make sims that are even more diverse and, and fun. And yeah, so yeah, I'm very excited. Even though I don't do cast, I rarely ever go there. I, I, I really love that, that we're getting more details for other areas of the game rather than build mode because I think there was a, there is has been a lot of content for the build mode and I, I'm happy that cast players are getting something more even though I kind of hoped for a little more with because you know the sims celebrated I want to say their 24th birthday which is just a year shy of what I am going to turn in a month <laughs> um so he celebrated the birthday and I kind of hoped for a little bit more than that. But we, we got this, which is not bad, but I kind of expected a little more. But we will see, maybe we'll get some more. I think there is a a kit or a stuff bag that we should get, which is like a party theme. So I imagine that could be connected to the birthday thing. I am not sure. So yeah, just like kind of expected a little more, but this is still really, really uh, great. Also. I think something I wanted to talk about for some time. Uh, well, you know what? Let's go back to the build a little bit and then I'm gonna 
go to the topic that I want to talk about. So I talked over um, the dining room, the living room, and this is kind of like a study office library area uh, because again that was something that the person requested, they wanted a library room and an office, so that's what I uh, did here. And I'm really loving the colour scheme, even though I struggled with it at first. I ended up absolutely loving the light woods, the honey woods, the white, pink, blue, especially this rock from, um, is it Dream Home Decorator? Yeah, For, uh, this rock from Dream Home Decorator is fit perfectly with the color scheme and I kind of also used the yellows, the like pops of yellows here and there uh, based on that rock and I really love that. I also really love the living room, there's plenty of bookcases there. I also made sure to place some stuff for the toddler. I also placed a not a piano, my like keyboards in there. So I really wanted to focus on gameplay. So I placed a lot of skill building items in the home. And here we are working on uh, the bathroom, which I think is the only one that I show. The who, the who's? <laughs> the house itself, the full house has uh, four bathrooms actually. I think there are three downstairs and one upstairs. So upstairs, we only have the bedrooms, so the kids' bedrooms, the teen bedrooms, and the baby toddler room. So they have one bathroom, which is not ideal, but there are, I believe, three bathrooms downstairs. So we have, I'm not sure, there's this one. And we have one, uh, well, we have two actually. Uh, where the guest bedroom and master bedrooms are. But I think one of them is like a half bath and a laundry. And the second one is like a full bathroom. So technically it's like three and a half bathrooms, which I think is fine. I think that's enough for an eight sims, but I have no idea. As I said, I don't do gameplay, so I have no clue. Uh, here we are working on the entrance. I kept it quite simple and functional. So we have some uh, items that, to make it look realistic. We have a bench, we have a wardrobe, shoes, uh, some of the items you can use obviously for changing clothes uh, and some are just purely uh, decorative. Uh, what I wanted to talk about, I forgot what I wanted to talk about. Yeah, that happens when I don't follow my brain, uh, like my brain's wavelength. I know I want to talk about something which I think I want to talk about for a while but I don't know what that was. Yeah, that, again, another thing that happens to me quite often, I just forget what I wanted to talk about. Um, hmm. Anyway, maybe it'll come to me or maybe it'll come to me in a different video. Uh, yeah, you could, I, I feel like I'm being very ADHD today. Uh, my brain is just all over the place and you can see it in real time. Um, yeah, kind of made me wonder how nobody ever figured out I might be different uh, in my life before. Anyway, I thought that the bathroom that I showed earlier was the only one I showed, but I also showed this um, laundry room slash half bath uh, because of the laundry room, I think. So, um, yeah, as I said, I forget stuff. I forget what I shared, what I didn't. Um, anyway, so here we are working on the master bedroom, but you can technically... Uh, use the other room as the master bedroom but I felt like this one is a bit more personalized and also kind of fits with the color scheme of the home so we have this bed from I want to say growing together I think it is yes so yeah yeah it's, it has a blue and yellow on it which kind of goes with the rock that I uh, used and I also used these um, kind of furniture pieces from high school years with my favorite detailing I absolutely love the chevron um, kind of pattern. Uh, I don't get to use them very often, but I feel like they fit very nicely uh, here. I also made sure to place some scale bedding items here. So we have the um, a little blob you can use for meditation. You have um, the embroidery kit that came with Cottage Living. And I initially placed the spa day kind of massage chair, but I ended up switching that for a TV so that your sims can, you know, lay down and watch TV. And here is the master bedroom. So I used the same bed, but with different bedding, which is this like nice um, mint color. Uh, and I really, honestly, I gotta be uh, honest, I love this bedroom a bit more than the other one. I also placed a bigger TV here. Not sure why I had space for it, I guess. Um, yeah, I just, I did. So I, that, I guess I would, that's why I would understand if you decide to place or like decide to use this as the master bedroom. But 
yeah, it's just a different color palette than the rest of the home. So I felt like the other one would be better suited as the master bedroom. Uh, so here we uh, moved on to the upstairs. You can see the only bathroom that we have here, which is quite spacious. There is a, a shower top combo, so you can bathe your infant and your toddler there. And then we have two uh, bedrooms for two kids. So one for two girls, one for two boys. So I used the beds that came with growing together as well. Um, the boys have these dinosaurs and the girls have this like sort of like a rainbow thing. But it's not necessarily a rainbow because it doesn't have all the colors of the rainbow. It just has like, I think, pink, purple and blue. Yeah, which I think is my favorite combo. Yeah. I usually just try to match the bedding to the rest of the uh, room. So that's why the color palette here is like um, yellow, green, orange sort of blue thing. And I really like that. I, I use the same items uh, over both bedrooms because I imagine that they buy the furniture from, you know, some sort of Ikea sort of thing. Um, and yeah, so that's why I decided to uh, use the same items because I thought that they buy stuff from the same store and even though I f uh, first used this wallpaper I want to say from Gmail Decorator I ended up going for more solid version from Eco Lifestyle because I felt like the pattern on the one that I used before was clashing a bit too much with all the like colors and textures that I used uh, in here. So this is the room for the girls. We already finished one for the boys. So here we have pink. I absolutely love this color palette. I love doing like colorful rooms for kids and like adding different like colors. And I really love kind of mashing stuff to the bedding. I don't think it just looks great. It's like a lot of color, but I feel like kids rooms should be colorful because they're kids. They should have color around them, right? So yeah, I went all out uh, with the colors. Uh, so here we are working on the room for the infant and the toddler. So I used these uh, base game beds that has this like the same color that the bedroom downstairs uh, because I felt like I didn't really need to follow the same color scheme in the bedrooms upstairs. And I also kind of had to work with what I have for what we are getting and I also use these beautiful curtains which are, I think they're a base game but uh, I I think I rarely ever use this particular swatch because it doesn't usually fit but because I used this um, kind of minty color it felt like they were perfect for uh, this room and I'm very very happy that I got to use them because it just it, it adds to the spirit of like kids uh, living in this room and yeah, I also use these chairs from the kids' room stuff, which I don't use very often either, but I felt like they matched really nicely and it could be like used for playing or you, the, the parents get sit down, read the kids um, kind of like a fairy tale or something, uh, like stories. And yeah, this room is not as colorful as the others, but I think it was because just like I was working with the colors uh, that the bed uh, came with. And here, this room is very pink like very very pink but i really like it i think it's like adult room but it's still like a teen room so yeah i used a lot of stuff from uh high school years in this particular room and i kind of paired the pink with uh white and other um colors and i really love uh, the result so yeah that's almost it for today's video if you want to download this build you can get it on the gallery my id is michaela sims yt or you can try under the hashtag michaela sims yt if you prefer tray files you can get them on my ko-fi page the link is down uh, in the description box below if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you would never miss an upload i upload once a week every Friday and I also upload a short uh, room uh, stop motion every Tuesday and yeah thank you so much for stopping by and I will see you in my next one bye I've seen a lot of change been through a lot of pain some things are not the same as they were a year ago but all will be okay I move on each and every day the past is where it stays, way back a year ago. I've changed for the better this time. 
I thought I would never be fine. I strive just to say I'm alright. And for the first time in a long time, I'm alright. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays. Way back a year ago. Chips and call in. I'll bet on myself. You keep stalling. I hear destiny and it's calling. I'll keep my head up high through the downs and lows, and we're all going life. Still nobody knows, but I'ma choose what's right and take what comes and goes. And ain't no one in life holding me back no more. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays. Way back a year ago.